Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Leila Hassan and I'm working as an aesthetic physician at Pakistan. Uh, I'm a CEO and director of Z Aesthetic Clinic at Pakistan. Uh, I'm also working as an assistant director for education and business with American Board of Laser Surgery for Pakistan. So uh, today our topic of discussion is Ascento. Ascento is a laser manufactured by Bison Company and it has Ascento single and Ascento dual uh, machine. Uh, Alexandride and NDR combination. Alexandride is 755 nanometer while the NDR is 1064 nanometer. So the third slide is about Ascento single laser. Uh, single Ascento is a long pulse Alexandrite laser and it emits 755 nm wavelength. It is an excellent solution for hair removal as well as pigmentation. It has excellent effect in hair removal as the wavelength penetrates deep into the skin and reaches the follicle. Due to its high absorption method, it also is very safe and effective in treatments without giving skin tissue damage. So our fourth slide is about dual Ascento. Dual Ascento is a unique device combination which includes Alexandrite laser 755 nm along with NDR 1064 nm. It's a unique combination because the two wavelengths are highly effective for removal of hair as well as for pigmentation issues. Uh, the 1065 would be ideal for the deep penetration up to the dermis level, building up the collagen and treating the vascular lesions as well, while the 755 nm Alexandrite will help and be effective in the treatment of pigmentation. Slide number 5 is about Alexandrite 755 nm. Uh, the wavelength is highly absorbed by melanin and poorly absorbed by water and oxyhemoglobin. It is highly selective laser for melanin and uh, that's why it makes it more effective without uh, damaging the surrounding chromophores. Slide 6 is about the NDR 1064 long pulse wavelength. It is less absorbed by melanin but it penetrates deeper into the skin uh, because it is less absorbed by chromophores and the surrounding water and uh, oxyhemoglobin. It allows to stimulate the deeper layers of the skin without damaging your surrounding tissue and epidermis. Uh, it is uh, helpful in reorganizing your collagen tissue and it also improves the textures and fine lines. It also helps in treating the varicose vein because it is highly absorbed by deep oxyhemoglobin of the blood. Okay, slide 7 is about clinic indication of Alexandrite laser and NDIAC. Slide 8 is about indication of 755 nm Alexandrite. It includes hair removal, it includes uh, pigmented lesions like freckles, lentigo, moles, nevus and seborrheic keratosis. It also includes Alex toning and many other. Slide 9 is about indication of NDIAC laser. Uh, as we all know, it is uh, very helpful in skin rejuvenation like skin lifting and your face lifting, face tightening. Uh, it also includes vascular lesion treatment uh, regarding acne redness, your dark circles, telangic tasias and veins. Uh, it also helps in hair removal, uh, wart removal, and nail fungal infection, and many other uh, treatments. Slide 10 is about features. So, Ascento has fast booting speed and it has a high peak power. Uh, the peak power is around 30,000 watts for NDIAC and 50,000 watts for Alexandrite, respectively. Slide 11 is about features regarding various switch. Uh, Ascento offers three options to operate. Uh, number one by switch handpiece, and number two is paddle cable, and number three is wireless foot. Slide 12 features include the flat top beam. So Ascento has 
exclusive technology of uh, allowing flat top beam, uh, which allows the energy to irradiate evenly, so reducing the side effects like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It also is available in different spot sizes, uh, from uh, size number 2 to 4 to 6, 8, 10, 12, 16 and 20. So you can easily change the tips for different sizes. Slide 13 is about uh, features regarding the user friendly unit. Uh, the user can change uh, Alexandrite laser from uh, MDRG uh, by a simple touch system. It has a monitor attached to it. Uh, the laser also include a camera. Uh, the additional video camera has an LED system. It has a sub monitor through which you can see for the minor injuries which cannot be visible to the naked eye. By zooming your uh, treatment uh, on the screen, you can uh, check for the visibilities of any injuries. Slide 14 is about features of cooling system. As we do hair removal, there are more chances of side effects like burns and PIH. To reduce it, the smart cooling system is there uh, and it includes cryogen gas as well as cryogen jet holder. Um, you can uh, use uh, optionally whichever you want to opt for. Uh, there is an, also an optional simmer holder in the system. Slide 15 is about features about the high capacity storage system. Uh, parameters can be saved up to the memory of uh, 420 slots, while the user can save the procedure and patient information up to 8 people. Uh, slide 16 would be about comparison. Uh, comparison in uh, form of wavelength. Uh, depth of penetration based on the wavelength and third would be the specification comparison. Uh, slide number 17 is comparison wavelength for uh, 755 nanometer alexandrite laser. It has a high absorption for melanin and it has a very low absorption for water and oxyhemoglobin as compared to the diode laser. Slide 18 is about comparison of depth of penetration for different laser wavelengths. So the Alexandrite 755 nm and anti yag has an excellent penetration level. So it's very important in pigmentation treatments, in vascular lesion treatments and also in hair removal treatments as compared to the other uh, lasers. Um, the penetration is up to the dermal level where you have capillaries, where you have follicles and where the pigment is located. Uh, coming to slide number 19, it's about comparison. You can see it easily in the chart. The weight of Ascento is quite huge as compared to the other uh, devices of company A and B. Uh, the wavelengths are similar in all other companies as well. Uh, the difference is about uh, the spot sizes, we, which we have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16 and 18. Others can have 2, 3, 5 and so on. Um, we have a frequency from 0.4 to 10 Hz. Others are from 0.5 to 10 Hz. Uh, energy is uh, uh, very high in uh, a central device as compared to the other devices. Mm, the pulse width is from 0.2 uh, till uh, 350 millisecond, while others go up till 300 millisecond. Our display system is 10.4 LCD, uh, while others is 8 inches LCD. Slide number 20 is about specification of single essential laser. Uh, it's already described before and you can go through the table to go for specification. Uh, slide number 21 is about specification of dual Ascento. Again, it is thoroughly described in the table. You can go through it and check. Slide 22 coming to the conclusion. So Ascento has fast booting system. It has high peak power, various switch, flat top beam, 
uh, various spot sizes, user-friendly device, it has a camera, it has a cooling system and high capacity storage system. So the slide number 23 is about parameters of uh, 755 nanometer wavelength. It is for pigmentation. You can treat moles, freckles, cafe au lait, seborrheic keratosis and peeling. Uh, for more, usually you keep the fluence up till um, 130 to 180 or 80 to 110. For freckles, it should be in between uh, 28 to 44 because we are very superficial as compared to the mole. You can go with the cafe olets, the same from 32 to 40 joule per centimeter square. Your superkeratosis again is from 45 to 50, while peeling needs only very superficial one parameters of fluence should be 15 to 18 joule per centimeter square. Usually passes should be 1 to 2, but for mole should be 1 to 8. The depth should be from 5 to 12 for mole, while it should be lower uh, in millisecond, like 3 to 4 up in other relations. Slide number 24 is about dual ascent to treatment guideline for 755. Uh, for the mole, you can stack up the laser until the mole is removed. Uh, you can use boric cotton uh, to check if the mole is removed. For freckles, you go with pulse uh, width of 0.35 millisecond and uh, it's mostly used for the dark freckles or lentigo. End point would be slight white patch. Uh, you can increase or decrease uh, the uh, fluence from 5 to 10 joule per centimeter square as per your results. For cafe lente, you have to see for the end point which is gray color. Uh, Seborrheic keratosis again at the end of uh, your treatment you would be see slight, a slight swelling of the area and uh, for peeling it's the purpose is basically hair removal so you check for the erythema. Well in slide number 25 you can see uh, before and after pictures of few clients uh, for freckles and moles removal. Slide 26, same client for freckles and moles removal. From the side, you can see the pictures of before and after. Slide number 27, same client with the freckles and moles treatment. Uh, slide number 28, another case of lentigo before and after pictures. Uh, slide 29, same case of lentigo before and after pictures. So, slide number 30 is about toning which includes melasma and PIH and acentoning with the uh, Alexandrite 755 nm. Uh, spot size in melasma 10 while for acentoning 12, pulse width would be 0.35 millisecond and 0.2 millisecond in acentoning. For fluids should be 4 to 5 in melasma while 3 to 4 would be sufficient for acentoning in jowl per centimeter square. Frequency should be 5 to 10 hertz in both. Your smart cooling device would be off. Passes would be 2 to 3. Interval for melasma 1 to 3 weeks. While for the SM toning, it could be 1 to 2. And you do it for the full phase. End point would be erythema. Uh, slide 31 is about uh, treatment guideline with 1064 wavelength for skin rejuvenation which includes your genesis toning, lifting and tightening. So the spot size in genesis toning is 8, pulse width would be 0.35 millisecond as we are going superficial, uh, fluence 6.4 to 7 joule per uh, centimeter square, frequency should be from 5 to 10, you keep the smart cooling device uh, off, you keep the passes 4 to 5 and there is cell heating. Uh, interval is 1 to 2 weeks. Lifting includes 12 spot size, 20 pulse width, 15 to 18 year fluence, uh, frequency 1 to 2. Again, smart cooling device would be turned off. 3 to 4 passes with 2 to 3 weekly intervals with pore tightening and collagen remodeling. Tightening 10 spot size, 50 pulse width, and 1 to 2 frequency with 15 10 smart cooling device and 2 to 3 passes with 2 to 3 weekly interval. Slide 32 is about uh, before and after pictures of toning done with 1064, and the reasons are after one week. 
So coming to slide number 33, uh, again the guideline of 755 days with vascular lesions. Uh, you can do it for capillaries, port wine, uh, stain, rosacea, flushing, and hemangioma. Uh, in vascular lesion, you again keep spot size 2 to 4, pulse 12, uh, fluids should be 100 to 130. Um, the SCD mode should be ideally off or you can keep 15, 20, frequency 1, interval is 4 weeks apart and red thick superficial vessels is the end point. Uh, port wine is uh, 6 spot size, ideally 12 millisecond depth, 38 to 44 average fluence in jowl per centimeter square, 15, 10 SCD mode and 1 to 2 passes with 4 to 8 weekly intervals. Rosacea is 10 spot size, you keep the pulse width um, almost 12 millisecond, 24 to 40 fluence, jowl per centimeter square, frequency 1, 15, 10 SCD with 2 to 3 passes and 4 to 8 weekly interval for hemangioma, you keep 2, 12 pass width, 64 to 80 fluence, 1 frequency, 15 and 20 SCD, 1 pass in 4 weeks interval. So slide 34 is about vascular lesions treated with NDI 1064. For facial flushing, you can keep spot size 10. Your pulse width should be ideally 12 millisecond or uh, fluence would be 36 to 40. If you are keeping the pulse width 0.35 for superficial uh, flushing, then you keep the energy 7 to 9. Frequency should be 1. Uh, smart cooling device 1510 you can keep uh, passes 2 to 3 intervals 2 to 3 weekly uh, for acne redness as we are going with small spot size so we keep 4 or 6 uh, pulse width should be 12 depending upon the acne depth fluence 80 to 100 or you can keep 50 to 80 frequency 1 15 and 10 should be the smart cooling device passes 1 2 to 3 weekly interval for active acne. If a red uh, thin superficial capillary, you keep spot sizes from 2, a pulse width 12, 140 to 180 fluence, and a smart pooling device last you can keep 15. Uh, interval should be 4 to 8 weeks. For uh, thick blue capillaries, you can go with spot size 4 with the pulse width 20 and fluence 120 to 150 joule per centimeter square with SCD 20 and 4 to 8 weekly intervals with one pass. Slide 35 uh, about vascular lesions we get with 1064. The points which we have to remember is for facial flushing, keep uh, uh, the parameters of pulse width 12 mill millisecond and finish it with 0.35 millisecond one session every two weekly apart total five sittings acne redness treat the active acne um, one shot or toning method uh, treat the acne redness with two to three passes vascular treatment you use the wavelength of 1064 for uh, thick and very deep uh, face vessels or fine and shallow body vessels you go uh, with the uh, technique in which you do not stack more than once in same area and endpoint in blood vessels is uh, blood vessels either spread red or disappear. Uh, if the energy is strong, blisters may form so you can uh, use appropriate medication and uh, always test first. Slide 36, uh, before and after pictures of leg wings being treated with 1064. So slide 37 is about uh, a hair removal with 755 uh, nanometer wavelength and uh, for hair removal there are three types fine, medium and thick hair. Uh, so we keep it uh, for fine hair spot size 12 to 16 depending upon the area. You keep the pulse rate 3, you keep your uh, fluence in between. I usually keep it from 13 to 17 uh, joule per centimeter square. Uh, the smart cooling device should be 15, 10, 20, 15. Uh, one pass is enough. 
while you keep four to six weekly interval for medium i keep the spot size again 10 to 12 uh, 3 to 5 millisecond should be the pulse width and from 16 to 20 is a good fluence range but you can start from 12 as well 15 10 20 15 is the smart cooling device uh, 4 to 6 weeks interval 1 pass for thickness you can keep 10 to 16 spot size uh, 5 to 12 pulse width or 12 to 20 fluence and uh, one pass with four to six weekly interval and smart cooling device again 15 10 20 15 and you keep one to two passes slide 38 is for dual ascent treatment 755 hair removal with the 755 is recommended for people from skin type 1 to 4 uh, you do not start more than two pulses for darker skin types, 1064 is better if the color is dark. Pulse width should be ideally 5 millisecond or 12 millisecond. The thicker the hair, the lower should be the fluence. Slide 39 is again about same hair removal with 755. Uh, if you set the frequency over 2 hertz, your smart cooling device would automatically be turned off. So treat with air cryo. Uh, press the test button on settings screen to check if SCD is working properly. Shape the treatment area air with the hair growth up till 1 to 2 mm length. Um, also evaluate the skin and hair color. So slide number 40 is about hair removal treatment with 1064 wavelength. We mostly treat medium to thick hair. Uh, in medium you can keep the spot size from 8 till 12 depending upon the area and uh, you can keep the pulse width from 20 to 40 millimeter depth depending upon the area uh, and thickness of the hair. Uh, fluence should be ideally from 40 to 54 uh, joule per centimeter square in average. 1 to 2 passes, 1 to 2 frequency and the uh, smart cooling device is turned open with 4 to 6 weekly interval. For the very thick hair, you can grow from spot size 10 to 14 up till 16. Uh, you keep the pulse uh, depth up till 50 or 40 millisecond and uh, fluence should be from 28 to 35 then and uh, smart cooling device would be open one to two passes and four to six weekly interval with the hertz of one to two uh, slide number 41 is hair removal with wavelength 1064. It is highly recommended for skin type 3 and 4. You do not start over two pulses on same spot. Uh, if the skin color is dark, uh, set the pulse rate up to 50 millisecond. Uh, the thicker the hair is, the lower should be the fluence. Slide number 42, the dual essential treatment 1064. Uh, for hair removal, if you set the frequency over 2 Hz, your smart cooling device would automatically turn off. So press the test button on setting screen beforehand. Shape the treatment area and keep the hair length 1 to 2 mm. Um, always note that uh, evaluate your skin and hair color, your hair thickness of the desired area before treating that area. Slide 43 as you can see for hair removal before and after pictures. Slide 44 is about again before and after pictures of calf on that spots. Slide 45 uh, before and after pictures of vascular treatment you can see the result of 4 weeks. Slide number 46 is about treatment of telangiectasias and the pictures of before and after. Slide number 47 is about uh, your hemangioma treatment before and after pictures. Slide number 48 is about acne treatment before and after pictures. Slide 49 is about uh, treatment of acne redness and you can see it in before and after pictures. Slide 50 is uh, treatment of fibroma and uh, before and after pictures are shared with you people. Slide 51, mold treatment 
and before and after pictures are shared. Slide 52 is about my visit to Bisa and Company in Seoul, Korea and that was in 2016. Slide 53 again you can see my visit of Bisa and Company and I'm with my colleagues. Slide 54, I love that place of Bison, so I especially took a picture over here. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Uh, I would always love to get a feedback from you people. Thank you.